Hey everybody, welcome to part 20 of our Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 3 Remind on PC, 100% full game playthrough. So, last episode we went and played around with the uh, Fantastic 7. We got some abilities, uh, some very, very, very exclusive uh, cooking ingredients, and most importantly, our 6th uh, Oracalcum Plus. I mean, it's all important if you want to do 100% playthrough, but, you know, Oracalcum Pluses lead to Ultima Weapon Keyblades, so to me, that's the biggest highlight. So, we are almost ready to uh, go and do the cooking and the synthesis. We've got a couple of um, odds and ends that we need to do to pick up the rest of our materials that we're going to need. And... Uh, one of those things we need to do is go back and do all of the uh, gummy ship battles that I've been putting off over the course of the game, because it's easier to just wait to do them all now when we have the ultimate ship available to us, as you can see on screen right now, the Golden Highwind, with the Golden Invincible mini ships. So this ship will make getting A ranks on all the gummy ship battle missions uh, realistically a complete and utter uh, cakewalk. So, I'm going to do all the gummy ship missions, the, the battle missions. Um, they're all pretty repetitive, so what I'll do is I'll put timestamps in for, like, just the, um, just the gummy ship, quote-unquote, boss fights. Um, we've already done the Schwarzgeist, and we will probably have to do the Schwarzgeist again at some point for uh, something else that's... In the game after the base game's completed, so I'm not going to do the Schwarzgeist again in this episode. If you want to see that, go back to um, the Eclipse Galaxy Exploration episode, and that's where uh, that's where that fight was done. No, no, I might change my mind and do it again once we've done everything else. We'll we'll see how long this episode actually takes. All right, let's um, let's go ahead and get down to business here. All right, um, we'll just depart right from Twilight Town, and we'll just go in a little circle. Um, Firestorm should be good. We should really be like, we, we should not have to heal for any of these fights, uh, realistically. Now... Don't land in any worlds while we're doing this, if you can help it. So I think if you land in the world, they all, like, they all respawn. Whereas if we just take them all out in one swoop, they should stay gone. Look at the utter destruction we are raining down. that one. Alright, um... Where are we? Going this way.
see how easy this is with this ship? This one's a boss. I was gonna save this one for the end, but too late now. Okay, you know, may maybe, uh, maybe I'm not gonna bother putting uh, timestamps on the boss fights because I, I honestly thought the boss would put up a little bit more of a fight than that. All right, uh, where are we? We are near the third waypoint, so let's head over this way. Make sure I'm going the right way here. There's 10 gummy ship battle missions total in this uh, first galaxy. And I am using the uh, the same the same gummy ship guide that I used to find the, um, the constellations and the fragment crystals. So if you have trouble finding a particular fight, refer back to uh, you know like I said, check out game facts and. Um, Find the uh, the guy that covers everything. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, wrong one. So we're missing one, two, three, four here. Uh, countdown number one. I mean, we did do some of these on the way through, like, not that I was trying to, but... Alright, so I'm gonna head towards the Treasure Sphere, because I think that's where one of the ones I'm missing is. I guess I should probably go ahead and set a marker. Ah, never mind. I know where I'm going now.
So the shitty thing is it doesn't tell you like which challenge it is until after you've uh, finished it. If it even tells you then, I wasn't really paying attention. Means this does look familiar, but again, like these are pretty much there's a, a lot of repetition here, like right down to the groups of enemies that you get. I didn't think they could respawn unless you uh, went into the world, but like I said, I could be wrong about that. Alright, so that was Speed Skirmish 3, so that was... Was that one of the ones that we were missing? Whoops. Well, I think we had already done that one. Alright, so... Here's when we get to the point where we're gonna use the, um, the, the guide that I mentioned and track down the ones that we're actually missing. So, I'm looking for Countdown 1, which I'm assuming is icon number one on this map. It's not actually, uh... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Just stupid me. Alright, so number one is near one of the treasure spheres. So... I actually will put a uh, marker on Treasure Sphere A for this one. And whatever battle shows up close to that should be the one that I'm one of the ones I'm looking for. See, I'm kind of flying blind here, but um, just. Like I said, you know, if you're having trouble finding a certain battle that you know you need to fill in, just uh, find the guide and use the uh, the map. Should be this one. Let's see. Nice and quick. Alright, there's Speed Skirmish 1. Alright, what else? Alright, so the Speed Skirmishes are done, so I've got to find Countdown 1 and Countdown 3. Okay, there should be another one right near here that's Countdown 1. I bet it's that little bugger right over there. Ooh, fire. Yep, so anything that says take out as many enemies as possible is the countdown. And then the ones that say take down the enemy as quick as possible are the uh, speed skirmishes. And then, of course, the uh, the bosses have like their their own name in their uh, in their battle mission listing. Countdown 1. And then I believe we gotta find Countdown 3. Alright, so Countdown 3 is over beyond the uh, Treasure Spheres. So I'm gonna set the marker for Treasure Sphere B and then just go right past it. It's 
probably that guy right over there. That was a close call. Speed Skirmish 2. Okay, I don't think that was the one that I wanted. Nope, I want countdown number 3. Where are we on the map? Oh. Yeah, I'm not in the right spot. I got a little ahead of myself there. There should be a battle a little further beyond that treasure sphere. Might be this one, but I don't think it is. Only one way to find out. This should be the one. That was countdown three, and there should only be one more that we haven't done here. Oh yeah, look at that one, it's a nice big old level five. Wow, we got a lot to do here. Uh oh, well, let's worry about this one first. All right, so this is a nice big deadly uh, five star battle. And let me see which one that's going to be. Oh, shit. Alright, so this is the one that uh, was hidden in that uh, the, the sandstorm that we've yet to go to. So let's set our marker for the toy box because that is where we're going to find this one. All right, so there's the uh, the Astral Warrior. That's the boss we've already beaten once, so we don't have to do that again because it's already uh, A ranked. All right, where is the floating sandstorm? I know it's around here somewhere. Okay, come come on now, come on now. Don't be shitty. Alright. Oh, there we go. Alright, so, um, we need a speed of over 100, but with this ship, that is not going to be a problem. Alright, here we go.
Whoa, asshole. The fuck taught you how to drive? Look at that, we already have our A rank. It's already down to its last bit of health. We're just following the, uh, the forced battle script at this point. Oh yeah, shit, I forgot about the second one. Right. Um, let's go ahead and go back to Twilight Town and save. Just in case. And now let's get right back to it. If I can hit the right button. Alright, so we've established that if you go too far away from the enemies you've already done, they will respawn. So we're going to try to uh, get this in one shot here. We'll just start right from here. Uh, I want a different weapon, I think. Sunlight laser. Oh shit, let's use this one. Alright, let's see what we got here. Probably quite a bit like we already saw, yeah. Alright, so the first one... Countdown number five, and that should be, like, right in front of us. Should actually be that two-star one right there. Yep. Nice and easy, thanks to the Golden High Wind. Alright, um... Countdown 6. This one we're gonna go just a little bit past the uh, Treasure Sphere. Past that Treasure Sphere. I mean, the game gives us the marker system, so there's literally no reason uh, not to use it. It should actually be... And whatever ones we come across right now, we, should, uh, we shouldn't have them anyway. But let's see what this one is.
Yeah, see, some of these are, like, really, really, really quick. I mean, they're all gonna be really quick with this ship, but, like, they're... all... Some are quicker than others. Alright. Um... Well, we got something, so let's keep looking for the one that we were actually after. Which should be... On the other side of, uh, yonder rock ice wall here. Let's go get this guy. We'll go see what that red three-star one's all about. Oh, we got a few of them right here. Alright, so we'll just take all of these out and then see which ones they were. It's just that easy. Alright, so this should be the countdown one. was indeed countdown six. Hang on, so I saw a, a red, a red level three star, uh, red three star two. Where the hell did that go? Alright, well, we'll go take care of these two and then we'll uh, hit the map and see what's up. So, I mean, there's like 15 battles in this galaxy, but again, as long as you have the Golden High Wind and you're uh, holding the fan, holding down that trigger button, this really doesn't take that long. We got two in this general area. Oh, there's level four over there, and there's that red level three. 
I'm just gonna clear out everything we see here, and then we'll like pinpoint whatever we're uh, we're still missing afterwards. And what I really like about this game's uh, gummy ship stuff compared to uh, 1 and 2, taking a couple hits is most likely not going to screw you out of the max rank like uh, all that metal level crap in the first two games. Alright, so let's go, uh, let's go get Mr. Red level 3 over here. Oh wait, did we already do this? I think we already did this. I don't know if we got the A rank or not, so whatever. So the um, the red level five that we fought in uh, Starlight Way was just a more powerful version of this. Not that it matters, we only ripped through that one like it was nothing too. Bye-bye. Alright, so new record. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Alright, so the Schwarzgeist was the level 5 for this galaxy, so we've already done that. Um, countdown number 7. Where are you hiding? That's number 3. You know what, there's still a few more here. They're just kind of sitting in plain sight, so let's knock these out and then we'll double check and see where we're at. Cool thing. I don't know if you, uh, if you, anyone's noticed or not, because I've been getting out of the screen pretty quick. But um, when you do find a battle, if you don't get the A rank, you can just hit the uh, the wire triangle button to do it again.
that's another one done. All right, now we'll see how we're doing here. All right, so I gotta find countdown, countdown seven. Let's see where Countdown 7 is. Number 3, which is, according to the map I'm using, in between Monstropolis and uh, the first waypoint. And we are at Monstropolis right now. So... Let's see. So I'm going to set the marker for that waypoint, and somewhere along the way... We should find uh, one of the ones we haven't done yet. See, I didn't really... I, I was going to, like, follow them in order on the guide, but there were so many of them grouped together, I figured let's just blast them all, and then, uh, you know, whatever one we don't run into, we'll just go and track down. So that's obviously the Schwarzgeist. Uh, I'm not going to fight him again. There's another pretty cool uh, hidden one that we'll end this with. All right, that might be my guy right there. Let's see. Oh, there's two of them there. Let's see. All right, this is definitely a countdown, so this should be the one that I was actually looking for. Laser! See what else we're missing. Maybe one of them will be like right around here too. Uh, countdown nine is the one before it. Is there a countdown ten here? Yes, there is. All right, countdown ten. Gotta go to like roughly the middle of the galaxy. Let me see where Speed Skirmish five is before we do that. Number eight. All right, so Speed Skirmish five. This one here should actually be like right around here. So. We're going to do that one first. Should actually be near the uh, battle site. We're going to go right through here. Let's see what we come out with. Alright. It should be around here. Should be one of these. Probably not that one. Might be that one. Let's see. Yep, this should be the one I'm looking for. Hopefully. We, we are doing some fairly repetitive gameplay here, so I don't want to, like, drag this out any more than, uh, than we already have to to get it done. Ooh, yellow.
That was another close one. We almost didn't make it. That was Speed Skirmish 5. So that was the one that I was looking for. Alright. Um, nope, not config. What are we missing here? Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. What is that one? Yeah, we'll come after that one afterwards. So we have Speed Skirmish 8 and Countdown 10. You see which one we're closer to. Countdown... Wait, what? Countdown 10 is on the other side of the galaxy from where we are. And Speed Skirmish 8, number 11 on the map, which we were actually very close to. So let's look for that one next. back up this way. No, it shouldn't be that one. That's the Dread Shark again. We don't need to refight that one. I'm 99% sure that we just did that one. And yet we are roughly in the right spot. So if it's not this one, we'll veer off to the left a little bit. Yeah, this might be it. I don't recall doing one with a 300 target range before. This has got to be it. I thought that one might actually be a problem, but... Alright, what do we got going on here? Let's see. Alright, so we have... Uh, Countdown 10, which... Let me check this again. Countdown 10 is, like, right in the middle of the galaxy. And then we'll check out what that boss one is afterwards. All right, let's check our zone map. So I'm going to set a course to this treasure sphere, and I feel like somewhere, somewhere on the way, we should find our missing uh, countdown battle. Not, there's another one not too far off. The level 4 one's actually probably it, but we'll do this since we're already here. Well, this does say countdown, so this should, should be it. Almost done. There's not a uh, not a whole lot of these battles when we get to the Eclipse Galaxy.
Come on, say that was countdown 10. Ah. Uh, all right. Uh, so it's probably that four star one that's over there. You know what? I didn't even think of this. Let, let, let me check something here. Okay, so that's something that I should have noticed quite quite a long time ago in this episode. Uh, so if you're missing one, you can go on here and see how many stars it is and whether it's the orangish yellow stars or the red ones. So now that I know I'm missing a four say uh, four yellow star battle, and I see a four yellow star battle right there, it's based on the map. I'm you know like 99.99999% sure this is the one. My bad, that is something I should have noticed way sooner. Prizes for that one. Huh, okay. That was the right one, right? Oh shit, really? Alright, well, guess what? There's another, uh. There's another four star one. That wasn't the right one. And the good thing is, right now, I know to only look for the four stars. Kind of like Goku every time he goes hunts down the Dragon Balls, the four star ball is always top priority. Oh, yeah, here we go. This one's actually a countdown. Okay. Cool thing now is once we uh, once we finish this one, we only have two of these regular uh, generic battles left, and the rest is all um, all boss fights technically. That was countdown ten. There we go. All right, so we should only have one battle left in this galaxy. Let's see which one it is. Should be a red star. Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's see what number that is. Schwartz guy, space worms. Ah, uh, oh, the glacial fortress. 
I could have sworn that was mandatory for Arendelle, but apparently not. All right, number 15 on the map that I am using. Where is that? Okay, close to Arendelle. That makes sense. All right, uh, zone map. Put a marker on Arendelle and then look for a uh, three-star red battle as we approach. Probably going to be hidden in the ice wall section. But maybe not. I think I passed by this one earlier and wound up going off in the other direction. That's what it was. Get these EXP prizes while we're here. Yep, gummy ship levels uh, looking pretty nice right now, isn't it? Oh, there it is. I see. Uh, I see a three red star. There it is. It's fucking time. What? It's a fortress. Now remember, the more extra parts you blow up, the better your score. Got that A rank, just finish it off. Boom. Misty Stream Galaxy Battles are done, and all with an A rank. Look at that, we're up to level 80. Let's, uh, let's make absolute sure that we are done here. A, 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 A. Damn. Haven't seen that many A's since my middle school report card. <laughs> Alright. And then, just to confirm... We've got all A ranks in Starlight Way and Misty Stream. Town. So let's hit Twilight Town and uh, save. I, mean, I guess we can just go to the Keyblade Graveyard and save, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll drop down to the Keyblade Graveyard and save the hell with it. Doesn't matter where, we'll drop down in the Badlands. I mean, we're literally here just to save the game in case it happens to crash. I don't want to have to redo any of this again. And then right back to the world map, we're already in the Eclipse Galaxy, so let's see where our battles are. Oh yeah, this is going to be a freaking cakewalk. Okay. Um. Alright, we can just embark right from the graveyard. This this is not going to be difficult at all. There are only six battles in this galaxy. Two of them are like the regular, and then the rest are all uh, bosses. Alright, uh, information, gummy records... All right, so the Colossus Pyramid is the uh, the first one that we bumped into. So we're gonna go refight that one and get the A rank this time. And that should be let's check that should be the uh, the red four star sitting right there. Yep. So we uh, we we got a B rank. Let's go make that B and A. 
just fly right into it and shoot at it, and the battle should start. There we go. Alright, I get my A rank this time, bitch. Oh, so we flew through Xehanort's Death Star, and now we're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Zyzor's Skyhook Battle Station. Come on, give me that A rank. Boom! Alright, A rank on you now. Alright, uh, let's see. Countdown 11 and Speed Skirmish 11, the last two uh, little battles. Let's go ahead and do those first. Alright, so they're missing the numbers on this one, but I'm going to assume that uh, since they're listed as 2 and 3, that 2 and 3 are where they are. So, what we're going to do now, basically, is we're going to fly around um, Xehanort's Death Star. And on each corner, there should be an opening where we can find a, uh, a fight. I mean, since we're flying around here anyway, may as well, uh, you know, blow up some of these and grab, like, some Adamantite and Electrum. Because we are almost at the point where we're going to be doing Synthesis, which also means, uh, we're going to finish up Keyblade Forging, too, at least for the Keyblades that we have. Actually, we should have all the Keyblades. are pretty close now. Whoa, that looks like freaking Demon Tide. Okay. Ooh, come on. There it is. Oh, now that's interesting. We uh, cleared a battle and it seemed to send power towards the, uh, the top of Xehanort's uh, Death Star. How about that? That just say Mithril Crystal? Huh. For some reason, I thought you couldn't get the crystals out here. Alright, so here's an upgraded version of the, uh, the first Gummy Boss battle we fought. But we have the Golden High Wind, so this will be easy. Look at that, A rank already.
All right, Supreme Warrior is uh, supremely destroyed. All right, go around and get uh, side number four. Come on, Adamant Titan Electrum. Need a bunch of those still. I probably don't really need that many more Electrum. Oh, just got to get two of them in a row. Holy shit. Now, keep in mind, this is on critical, and the Golden High Wind is just absolutely vaporizing anything that gets in front of us. And there's the A ring. So Realistically, there's only like two gummy ship enemies in the game that could potentially destroy us right now. That's the uh, the Schwarzgeist and the um, the last one that we're gonna do in this episode, which is coming up. But um, even even with the last one that we're gonna see in this episode, you'd ha you'd have to like sit there and let it lay into you. The only one that's really a true danger to us now is uh, the, the Schwarzegeist. And all you gotta do is just keep moving and then watch out for the, uh, the red lasers of death. Alright, so, uh, yeah, there we go. All four sides. Hey, what the hell? All four sides are lit. How come it didn't work? Let me tell you, I was embarrassed as uh, shit to find out the first time through this game that if I had just thought to check down here, it would have, uh, you know, the mystery would have been solved. There's one battle down at the very, very bottom of the space station. You can see it from here, the, up the upgraded, um, the upgraded uh, space shark. It looks more like a space centipede to me, but whatever. All right, second to last one right here. Scarlet Shark. Look at all that health. Oop. A rank already. Look at that.
say hello to Omega Weapon. All right, let's work our way back up topside, the very top of Xehanort's Death Star, and this will be our last gummy ship battle. we go let's let's uh, let's double check and be absolutely sure all A's all A's all A's just this one Ooh. <laughs> did like next to no damage your time you've already got the there it is now specifically for this battle against the Omega Machina you get the Oracalcum Plus so you don't have to do all the gummy ship battles in the game to get the last Oracalcum Plus you just need to do the ones in the Eclipse to access the clash with the Omega Machina but I'm going for 100% so we went ahead and did A rank on all of them anyway. Alright, so now let's get the hell out of here before we get blown up. Actually, so if we go into information and open up the treasure tab, you are, you are going to get an achievement for collecting uh, 20 different treasures. But we've actually collected every treasure. And then if we look at Gummy Missions, 
This should be like... Whoa, what is that one? Understand the true joy of gummy ships to receive this commendation. Oh, what's this? Obtain different special weapons. What? Is there really shit that I haven't done yet? Take out 5,000 heart. Okay, I guess the gummy ship stuff isn't 100% done. I'm going to have to look and see what those last, uh, those last goals are. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever actually completed the gummy missions on this to 100%. Obtain blah blah different special weapons. How many more special weapons can we get? Well, I guess we'll do a little cleanup on that later on. Um, so I need to figure out what those missions actually entail, and... I'm not going to uh, do that right now. So when we get to the point where it's time to um, do like the 100% review and all that, we'll, uh, we'll check that out. Actually, I wonder... Um, let's go into a shop here. Whoa! What's all this now? That is a lot. Okay, hold on, hold on one second. Just, um, ch check out, check out my, uh, my, my my title screenshot for a second whilst I pull up the um, the trainer because I'm 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 gonna give us a little uh, stimulus check real quick. Bear with me just a moment. Alright, so what I did just now is I turned on the, um, the money multiplier, which didn't work apparently. Hold on. What we get ya? There it is. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go through and buy all this stuff. Why did it say zero stock? Oh, because it's disappearing. Yeah, we're gonna buy all this stuff and then see if that uh, gets us those last um, two missions. Hold on, I'm going to turn that code off because I don't want my money to be stuck at max. Not yet, anyway. Okay, so there's two more special weapons that were here. I bet that's going to... Uh, I... You know, I never even looked at, like, this menu before. <laughs> Got so excited actually A ranking all the gummy missions so easily my first time through that I never even looked at this. There are so many gummy parts in this game. I have a feeling once we buy all these, that gummy mission section is going to be finished. Oh, yeah, these are all one time purchases. The Flantastic Seven. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay, so these ones are not one-time purchases. Okay. Holy shit, these are expensive. Yeah, see, this, this is why we did the stimulus check. Alright. 
Um, let's, let's see if that did it. It should say it right away that we've, like, unlocked missions. No? Oh, there it is. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there's that one still. Okay, um, real quick, let's go blow up, uh, like 400 more ships because I think maybe that last uh, mission is just to complete all the other missions. Maybe. I mean, this episode hasn't taken nearly as long as I thought it was, so let's, let's go ahead and go blow stuff up. Um, we will return to Starlight Way, because so those will be, like, faster kills. We'll just depart from here and head towards uh, Twilight Town. Yep, all I'm out to do here is get the, uh, the 400 more kills, and then that should be it for the gummy stuff. Oh, come on, give me more enemies than that. Keep them coming. That's almost 200 right there. only have to do like one more battle after this and that should give us uh, the, the 5,000 kills. Let's see how we're looking. Oh yeah, we need 108 more. One more battle should do it. I'm just gonna find one more battle. Which you would think would not be difficult. As long as this is a countdown, we should be good. No, oh, no. That sucks. Do one more after this.
there's a nice level one right over there. Doesn't matter what kind of battle this is, this should get us our 5,000 easily since we only got to kill like eight more. That's not supposed to happen. That should be it. New gummy missions unlocked. Come on. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, we're um yeah, I'm I'm not gonna go farm another uh, another five thousand kills. Uh, we'll call this one a wrap, and I'll do that off screen, or I'll get like right to the brink of uh, the 999, and then we'll uh, see what happens. All right, world map. We probably came here for anyway. Uh, I will make sure that those missions are done before we end the game because that is part of the 100%. But um, I'm I'm not gonna sit here on screen and farm out another five uh, five thousand gummy kills. That's just ridiculous. Uh, embark. Twilight Town. Nope, I want to land there this time. Alright, so we did get... Yeah, I did get two Electrum in a row. That is wild. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go hand in what we've got. Nope. I said hand in what we've got. All right. So we have the seven Oracalcum pluses. Uh, I could make Ultima weapon right now, but I mean, we'll just save that for the uh, the synthesis video. So. Um, yeah, that's it for this episode. We've done almost everything there is to do in the, uh, the gummy ship section of the game. I forgot to do this last time, but, uh, if we look at, um, so... I should have done this at the end of the Flantastic Seven episode, last episode, so that's my bad. So the Flantastic Seven appear as missions, and it is the only thing under the, uh, missions tab as far as I know. So all the scores uh, get kept here. And then the Flantastic Seven also all show up under the uh, the Heartless section because even though they're playful little shits, they are still Heartless. Thankfully, all they want to do is play and, you know, not like eat people's hearts. But, you know, by definition, they are still Heartless. So... Yeah, so that's the stuff that we got from the last episode that I didn't think to look at. Um, okay, so Gummy Ship uh, Battle episode is over. Like I said, I will grind out those other 5,000 uh, enemy kills just so, just so we can write the Gummy Ship section part of the game off as 100% done. 
Um, so we are almost ready to, I mean, we could do the cooking now, but uh, I'm going to do the cooking and then the synthesis, like those two episodes together. Uh, so before we go and do the cooking and the synthesis, there is one more thing we are going to cover, and that will be uh, next episode. But as I said, we've definitely uh, done enough for this one. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to spoil what it is. Um, if you played the game, you probably have an idea of what I'm going to do next, be just from the fact that I mentioned that there are still a couple synthesis materials that we need to collect. And um, if you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, well, it'll be a nice surprise. Uh, until then, thank you all for watching. As always, I hope everyone's enjoying the game so far. And until next time, may your heart be your guiding key.